Supplies were successfully delivered by the 138th Quartermaster Company via convoy to the Devil Tactical Assembly Area at the National Training Center April 25th, Training Day 7. The Army's National Guard 138th Quartermaster Company belongs to the 519th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion out of Brazil, Indiana. The mission for the 138th was to drop off food rations to the main element. The 1st Brigade, 1st Infantry Division, currently undergoing harsh conditions during a decisive action rotation here at the National Training Center. Today's mission, what we do is we run log packs or logistical packages up through the main MSR out of the LSA Warrior all the way up to the BSA that they do here at BSA Devil. And from here they stage out, split everything off to their smaller subordinate companies and battalions. It's an excellent training environment. A lot of, a lot of dust in your face, dry, uh, a lot of rough terrain, really, really shake you loose. Um, definitely enjoy it. The convoy started from the Garrison Rotational Unit bivouac area after loading supplies from the Troop Issue Warehouse. Along the way, the convoy encountered a suspected vehicle-borne improvised explosive device forcing the 138th to conduct proper tactical techniques and procedures to continue on with their mission. Training Day Senate presented horrible driving conditions, but the perfect environment to prepare the quartermasters for the unexpected. Often, the NTC offers a change of pace, an opportunity to get away from mundane duties. My normal job is actually a 92 Alpha. That's a logistical supply specialist. I'm normally sitting in the back uh, doing dispatches, AOAPs, making sure everything gets taken care of. So throw me in a gunner spot. It's kind of a little different there. It's a curveball. It, it's a little bit of a curveball, but I, I tend to enjoy the more gun ho stuff and going out and actually doing something rather than sit behind a desk all day. I'm Jason Miller, reporting from the Army's premier National Training Center, Fort Irwin Public Affairs Office.